we are doing to try to boost the number of tests that we have available. And while we are continuing to rely heavily on the CDC qualified reagents, we also understand that those reagents are in limited supply and we are in, in the process of bringing up our own laboratory developed test that will allow us to independently outside of being dependent on those CDC reagents, be able to stand up methodologies and a way to detect the virus um, independent of having to order the reagents and ancillary supplies that go into the CDC test. So the question is, uh, do we know how many cases or estimate might be undiagnosed? We don't know that at this time. We're still uh, learning about this situation. It's evolving. Um, we are looking at experiences in other states and trying to look at modeling. So we hope to have more information moving forward. Um, but we are seeing an increase in reports now, or labs being reported from outside private labs. So there does seem to be more capacity there, uh, and we're happy to see that. So we would like to have more testing, and we continue to work with all of our partners to make some of these tough decisions so that we can make the tests that we have go as far as we can. Yes, I wasn't part of that today. Uh, I was actually in meetings and preparing for.